What is up everybody, coming to you with another recap, and before I even start, let me just mention, if you're interested in anti-3 bases or anything like that, don't watch this video, it's gonna waste your time. <laughs> so, now I got that out of the way, so we actually did a matchup here in the FPC where we were gonna do a mixed scrim between all of our Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, or not all of them, but a bunch of them, from a bunch of different clans. We had Six Schlitzes, House of L, Pure Bach, Powercock, King Jeffrey, uh, Dabro from Clash Live 4, um, Dark Avengers, Dark Looters, North Remembers Family, Reddit Omega Family, War Whales, Wiz on Her Face, One Hive Family, Emphatic Elite, and FYSB Family. So we had a bunch of different clans coming in, and it was going to be a fun war. We were perfectly, or really, you know, really well matched as far as weight goes. We both were in brand new clans with a zero war, um, war streak, so I have no idea why we didn't match. But Supercell went ahead and decided to give us this match with a bunch of Rush Town Hall 11s. And I'm just going to go through and show all the three stars here. As you see, you might notice, oh, we got a live attack. So let's go and watch that live attack. So as you might notice, there is only 70 of 80 attack shoes, but Supercell just announced a maintenance break. And if there are more attacks that I'm able to fit into the uh, recap before they get wiped, I'm, I'll just splice them in. But I'm going to talk as if they're already done, I guess. Actually, if they're already done, we can just assume we got a perfect war, right? Right? No, we didn't. Hard to get a perfect war with Town Hall 11s, but we're watching a live attack, though, so, uh, interesting. This is the first time of a recap that I've had a live attack on there, so. And he's just gonna do some sort of, like, a two-star approach here. Coming in with all these giants, with having that single-target Inferno. Hopefully, they're gonna get on the giants here and not his golems, so hope they'll, they might be alive in the back end. Claudio, let's see, who is Claudio? Let's see where he's from while we're, uh, while we're watching. I don't see his Huh. Oh, it's on the other one. That's probably why. He is from Pure Box, so he's coming in with basically a mass giant, mass golem attack here. Yeah, unfortunately his king did get targeted. This looks like it's going to be a two-star, so I'm going to go back at him anyway. But going back, going through all the three-star replays here, first off, we're going to have Rudax coming in, and he's going to do basically a mass Valk. You'll see he's going to be able to Earthquake the core and then get his Golems and his Queen down and just going to send in the, mat, the Valks in a huge pile of glory coming around the base. Not even going to worry about wall breakering in, just going to let him do their thing as he has a Golem and Wizards working their way around as well. Eagle's going to go out really quickly. Once the Valks are in, they're going to get locked onto the Queen. Plenty of heals and rages for the core here. Going to drop that rage. Once that Inferno Tower is down, or actually, I guess, over on the side, he's going to go and drop that heal. Probably wanted them to go through the wall to get a little more healing out of those Valks because they are going to leave that heal before being fully healed up, but it doesn't really matter. As you can see, plenty of Valks to be able to work their way around the south. Does still have the Queen and the Grand Warden to be able to get to these last defenses. King hitting a wall for whatever reason. But as you see, they're going to work their way through. Get some tanking out of the Grand Warden. That's not something you say very often. Wow, that, that cannon almost screwed him up. Luckily, his Queen ability and that minion were able to get him through those last defenses for a nice little triple here from Rudax. Next coming down. Uh, that was Juni with a, with a two-star. Hopefully it'll be cleaned up. Next we have Ahmed coming in against their number three. He's going to do a little open queen walk here, mass Valk, as the queen's going to walk her way around. Beautiful wall breaker right there, getting her into that compartment and wall breakering in. Had a, a bit of a fail actually with the wall breakers there, but the Valks are going to all go in anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, going to send in the golems from that side, interesting. Going to go ahead and jump in right there, and then once that's going, looks like he's going to send in all, send in a couple Valks with them, and then send in the rest of his Valks over there on the southwest. Queen going to continue walking around as those southwest Valks are all going to go to the core, be able to rip through there really easily. Going to get that Rage down over the Archer Tower and Inferno Tower. Once that's done, they're going to rip through the back of the base. As you see, the King is doing his thing up there as well, and the Wizards doing their thing, getting the cleanup on those outside base buffers as the queen is doing her thing still, and they're all just gonna meet up on the northeast side for a very nice three-star here from Ahmed. Ahmed from, I'll find it, I'll find it as I as I go to the next base. Next we're gonna watch Junies, and this is actually featured in another another video I just did, so feel free to watch that Ebola version two video. Ahmed is from FYSB, by the way. Junie is from Reddit Omega. 
So he's going to do a bowler walk right here. Hebola coming through. Going to continue walking all the way up the north right here. Going to be able to take out a lot of the base. Not really sure why the queen did not get hurt by those, those um, bowling balls or whatever his, his shots are called. But they didn't, so whatever. But they're going to continue walking around. Once they get around the corner up here, he's just going to send in his CC Giants and Valks. And those are going to be able to rip through that core really easily. He's going to have his heroes in there as well. So Grand Warden ability and, you know, obviously heroes to be able to get through very easily. Going to Earthquake the core and jump into the first layer. Bowlers are all going to go in. They're going to continue walking around the north. As you see, it's going to be really quick. So I'm going to slow it down to 1x right here. As the Valks are in the core, he has his king going around the south with a couple Valks, as well as these wizards down here helping. Bowlers are taking out the queen, which is a little bit of an awkward kill because they are kind of slow with their first attack. But plenty of Valks. His king ability, queen is about to pop her ability as well. And having these healers up, keeping everything full health, is going to make this a very nice looking 3-star here from Juni. So I'm loving these bowler attacks. I'm very interested to see more of them in the future. Maybe maybe some more people will gym up their bowlers to level 3, but I'm not going to do it, so <laughs> I'm just going to record other people's replays. Next attack coming down here to number 8, we have Dirty Pirate going in on Ares, Dirty Pirate from House of L. Rudax was also from House of L, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Dirty Pirate's just going to do a little queen walk right here. Once she comes around the side, he's going to do a little go weeba. Yeah, as his golems are all going down, he's going to send in his uh, Valks and Witches. The Valks are going to get out in front and help to pop the traps as he's going to get that freeze down over the Eagle. Going to use an Earthquake to soften up the core a little bit. Queen did beat the wall, and she's going to work her way around the north. This Inferno Tower is going to go down to the King. Has a ton of Witches up at this point, and with Wizards over here on the side working around. Does lose some of that giant bomb, which is... You know, kind of an annoying thing about the the skelly is not popping traps anymore, but he does have plenty up still at this point to be able to get to the rest of this base. And that that one little minion over there on the west side doing his thing, getting the rest of the base done. Do it for the squad, little guy. Next attack, we're coming down to Dabro. Dabro from Clash Live Four. And Dabro was in. I think he was in One High Family. Bit. I'm not sure. He was he was at Houston Live. Dabra is a real funny guy. He's a real nice guy too. So he's just gonna send in his golems, all his Valks coming through. Valks did kind of path awkwardly right there. Luckily they are gonna get through that wall and take down all the core right here very easily. Very nice as his heroes are working their way around the south. His Valks are doing the thing in the core, taking all that out. And getting a lot of work done from that golem and those wizards up there in the northeast. Very, very surprising that they were able to get that much work done before the golem popped. But, you know, that's that's very good. It didn't really matter. His heroes are working their way around. As you see, he has a, a freeze and a haste and a poison in the pocket that he brought just for kicks and giggles. Hey, 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 dog, chill, chill, chill. And he's going to go ahead and drop them on the Town Hall, so that's very good. That's very important to drop them on the Town Hall if you still have them, just in case that Town Hall does decide to pop its head back up like one of those trick candles from when you were a child, and you put them on the, on the, on the cake, and you blew them out, and they just kept on coming back. You're at the bowling alley, you start crying because you can't get the candles out, you end up blowing way too hard, getting saliva all over the cake, all your friends are pissed because they can no longer eat the cake anymore, and it's just a bad time for everybody, and that's why we don't have our birthday party at the bowling alley anymore. I have no idea where that came from. Wow, that was... Whoa, oh, hmm, okay. Next we have MHO going in on number 11, which is King. And he is from Pure Bach as well. MHO is also in Legend League, which is pretty cool. So he's going to do a little clean walk starting up here in the north. Get a little, little outside the base double giant bomb trip, or giant bomb trip, which is OP. <laughs> Get those skelly traps popped too, which is nice. She's going to continue working her way around to the west over here. Going to get that rage down for as she has those two point defenses on her. She's going to take out that wizard tower, continue walking around, take out what looks like a Tesla right there. Yeah, a very well hidden Tesla in that 2x2 two two spot. No one ever would have, would have suspected that. Got a wall breaker in there and doing a little open face queen walk as he's going to come in with all his valves at that point. And they're going to be able to reach the core with a jump. So CC Giants and all his Valks are going to come in. Healers do redirect, which is probably bad for him. 
but luckily he does have queen ability still and just has those two point defense, so she's going to still be able to stay alive. Hogs are all coming in on the north side up there. It does have a heal for them, and they're ignoring that archer tower. Oh, nice. He sends in three wizards on the archer tower to take that out. Very cool right there. But they're going to be able to take that out as his queen, the Valks, and the Hogs are all going to converge over here on the east side and take out the rest of this base. Very nice tack here from, from MHO. Next, coming down to MHO's second attack on number 12, which is also going to be a Govaho. And he's just going to soften up the Town Hall and Eagle right there as the Wall Breakers are going to go down. Going to send in the Golems right behind it with a jump. I guess he's going to drop it in the middle. As the Wizards are doing their thing, making a good funnel around the outside, which are going to help out these Giants and Valks going to the core. And they're just going to rip through this base really easily as the Wizard is working it. Oh, we, he died, actually. But the King and the Queen, plus the Grand Warden ability, are going to do a ton of work right here. Queen is getting in before that jump runs out. Hogs are going to come in on the south side to support everything. His King did die. Unfortunately, did have that single target inferno on him but the queen and the, and the warden are still working their way around anyway queen was able to take out that sti before it was able to get her as she's going to continue working around taking out the rest of space from the middle a couple more point defenses down there in the south but he is going to be able to get through them with his queen and warden does have a couple pups or a couple minions rather to help out with cleanup down there as the hogs and the giants are able to take out those last defenses as well so very cool, very nice six-star warrior here from MHO. Next attack, coming down to 14, we have Ready for U2, which is Wiz on her face, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Where is his name? Well, I'll look for his name as we go. But he's going to come in with a, a just a little Gola Loon, actually. So he's going to get his heroes in to be able to take out that eagle as well as the air defense. And he's just basically going to ignore these infernos. He's going to have a freeze for them, but they're not going to do that much work anyway. Going to let it pop one of his hounds. Going to go and drop that freeze down before he sends in his other hound. Those loons are going to get in to take out those infernos. does have that little Tesla farm in the east side, but they're going to path through um, to get back to that easily enough where it's not going to kill his raid. Probably is actually going to pop the rest of his hound right here, which might actually help him. Minions going down for cleanup over there as they're all making their way around. Looks like it's not going to pop the hound. It doesn't really matter though. Plenty of cleanup still alive over there on the west side as all his flight is still working over there on the east in order to get the rest of his base down. Very nice attack here from Ready for You 2. From yeah, from Wiz on her face, correct. I, I do I do see that now. Next attack coming down to 14. We have this little guy named Zach from Reddit Omega. And man, I, I, I just, so I really wanted a five star on this base, on both of my attacks. You'll see right here, a minute and five seconds, really almost five starred it, and I just take advantage of the fact that Valks are super fast, and gonna just wall breaker with my king right here. He's completely fine. Not wall breaker, just let him bust the wall. Queen only needed two healers to get through the queen, so I only put those on her, and the Valks are gonna get out in front of her anyway, so it didn't really matter. I'm gonna drop it in this little black hole right here, and then this is my favorite part. All my spells going down, every single one just dropping down, and could have been a little more spread, but as you'll see, it didn't really matter, because they're still out of that backside heal before it runs out. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just crazy how fast Valks are. But they're going to work through their way. Really, these storages were probably what screwed me over. And these, this barracks and dark barracks down here. The Valks, unfortunately, ignored it. So they actually have to path on in 1x. Crap. It was so fast, I didn't even realize it. But since they had to path all the way back down to get to it, it was unfortunate. See, I got 98% of the base done in under a minute. But those last two, they didn't get it done for me. Oh, well. Still, still a cool attack. Just 27 Valks. OP. Next, we have Aussitron going in. He also is from Wizard and Base. He's going to do a little Queen Walk, Go Vaho, with a, or Go G Vaho, with a bunch of Giants here. He's going to use those to help tank here for his Queen. Queen is, okay, yeah, she's going down to the south like he wanted. Queen going to be able to take out these point defenses and continue staying alive. She's out of the uh, range of the air defense right here. As she's going to walk her way around to the south. He's most likely going to wall breaker everything in together, and it's just going to be able to go all to the core there, take out the eagle, the queen, the king, and all this stuff in the middle. Slow start, probably because I'm on 1x and don't want to be. <laughs> wall breakers go down. 
Queen's gonna go in. I guess he's going to come over here on the east side, so he's just gonna use the queen to funnel, essentially. And he's gonna be able to jump. Oh, he jumps right there. I thought he might connect the north compartment as well. All the Valks going in, all the Giants in as well. When they're doing their thing, working their way around, they're gonna rip through the CC really easily, rip through that Eagle really easily, and then he's gonna just send in all of his Hogs around there to the east side. Does have a heal for his Hogs. Probably didn't need it because it's just low level point defenses, but the queen still doing her thing over there on the west She's gonna bust through some walls like she does hogs working their way through those north defenses as the queen is going to get the rest Done as well as these wizards over here for cleanup very nice attack it does go ahead and swag the earthquake Which is not something you usually see swagged <laughs> Typically people bring earthquakes for a reason I guess he could have just brought it to soften the core, but Hog's gonna gonna take out the rest of his base right here, and his queen is still full health as well with those healers on her. Nice attack to Alcitron. Next attack coming down to this little guy named Zach once again. Tried to get it. This one wasn't as close. This one was a minute 19 seconds. A little unfortunate. So let's just play it in 4x since it's so oh. I don't know what to say about it. Valks are all going to the core. Rage goes down. Haste goes down around the outside. Heal, 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 heal. Everything, everything going to bust the wall. But it was really these two mortars right here that ended up screwing me on time as the Valks were able to take out everything over here but then had to path all the way back over for the mortars. Jeez, that was quick in 4X. Wow. Wow, that was fun. Next, coming down to Alcitron once again, getting that six pack. Me and Alcitron getting the six pack around the same place as our family, our home clans rather, are able to face off. And uh, yeah, pretty good war from Omega versus Wiz on her face. Getting a, I think it was 80, 88 to 85 was the final. And kind of interesting war because we didn't have the top Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 11. So it kind of felt like an, an older war. <laughs> we just had some lower Town Hall 10s. We did have a little bit of advantage having four Town Hall 10s, them having three Town Hall 10s and three 9.5. But he's just going to do a little queen charge right here to take out that eagle. And they're going to take out, she's going to take out the expo as well. And then you'll see she doesn't have any point defenses on her. Oh, she does get in range. Oh, she doesn't actually. Valks, giants, everything going in on the west side over here. Going to get that freeze down to save the queen. The Valks are able to, or at least tank for the queen. Hogs all going in on the east side over here. Going to work their way up to the north. Has a heal that's going to cover Valks and Hogs. Very nice heal right there. High value, high value. Uh, Hogs continue working away around as everything is all really together at this point. Queen going to continue on cleanup on the east side. Hogs getting down those last point defenses and then continuing working on cleanup as everything is going to converge right here on the northwest side for a very pretty three here from Alcitron. Next attack coming down to 18 we have Murtoff which is the leader of House of L. And he is going to do a little queen walk. Go Baho. Yeah, Valks are just completely OP, especially on lower defense spaces like this, because they just are really quick. <laughs> Unfortunately, does have those giants under the Inferno Tower right there. I'm not sure if he meant to do that. Very nice jump getting to the core without opening the side compartments. And then all his hogs are going to come in to take out this southwest side as his Valks and Giants and everything are ripping through the core right there. They're going to then bust through the wall to continue providing tanking as well as taking out defenses for the hogs. Everything just kind of working its way down here to the southeast. Queen continuing to walk around the base. Couple wizards go down. He does have a couple storages here, these two elixir storages that he's going to have to path back to. But it's going to be okay because the queen can reach those from inside the base. But looks like she's not going to go inside the base. Who knows? Queen can be a little bit dumb sometimes. But it all went down anyway. Didn't really matter. Very nice triple here from Murtoff. Next, coming down to 10, is John Mango. He from Reddit Omega, or actually Omega Labs, but he's from Omega Family. He is going to do... Looks like a little queen walk go of a hoe once again. Taking a sweet time. Don't know why he waited so long. But getting that queen walk down. And she's going to walk here to the south. Oh, I would assume. Oh, she's going to bust in. Don't know if he meant that or not. But she's going to continue walking from that compartment to the south. Go ahead and drop his golem down. Go ahead and make the funnel here. Once he has that made, interesting, sending the king in from that side to help out the queen. And then going to, I don't know what he's going to do right here. EQ to the core for the king. Golem is just going to go around the outside, I see. So he's going to send the Valks in that compartment. 
they are kind of being a little bit dumb as they go a little bit to the outside first. But wow, they just stepped in and got into the Grand Warden ability. Then he popped that tome, and then they stepped out of the ability. Very cool. Uh, use that queen ability to take out the enemy king right there. She's just going to walk up here on the northwest side, taking out all these point defenses, as the rest of the hogs under heal are going to come in to take out the last here. They're going to have to path all the way back down to the southeast over here, but it's going to be okay because there's so many alive. Queen and some archers doing their thing. Oh, also has a heal for those. Didn't even realize that. So they're going to take it out really easily here and continue to stay alive for cleanup, working their way around on the east side. Did hit a outside the base giant bomb super OP new meta new meta but gets that three star very nice tack here to mango next tack coming down to stingray who's also from Omega he's going to do a go Vaho no healers gonna send in those giants to be able to get through that wall and then going to jump to the core I would assume there he goes Giants going in, Valks going in. They're going to be able to rip through that core really easily. Can't see that Eagle, but once they catch aggro on the Queen, they're going to go over there anyway. Eagle goes down really quickly. Core is ripped through really quickly. Hogs are all going around the northeast side up here as they have really nice tanking from the core, and they're also under heal. So very nice job keeping those keeping those Hogs all healed up as they're going to just going to path their way through these single target uh, defenses, point defenses, and be able to take out the rest of this base. Might have an outside the base giant bomb encountered here since there's nothing inside the base, obviously. Probably all four in a row right here. Yep, yep, there we go. Very OP. That's that's new meta. Wow, I'm very glad he was able to get the king in on that quad outside the base giant bomb, or he might not have been able to get the triple. Next attack coming down to 24 is DDBB from... Uh, where is DDBB from? He is from... Oh, don't see his name. Oh, from Dark Looters. He's going to do a little queen walk, massive alpha attack, it looks like. As she's going to step up, she's going to have two point defenses on her. going to go ahead and get that rage down. She's going to continue walking, taking out the CC, eventually the king, I think, right here. Good poison right there, making sure the, the uh, wizards only get one or two shots, if any. Actually, don't get any at all. Queen going to step over and encounter the king at this point. Probably is going to have to pop ability, having a point defense on her. Well, I don't know, because it took the king so long to get to her. So she is able to get to the king. Very nice. Wall breaker's going in right there. Did have a wall breaker fail, unfortunately, because the way the golem went. But it's okay, because he's going to have a nice funnel made. And once that's made, he's just going to send in all his valves. going to send in those two valves just to go to the side and be able to take out this point defense first, actually. Those Valks are going to wall breaker in, or bust through at two different spots, which might actually help him, to be honest, because one is going to go around and one is going to go to the core. Going to get that jump down. Actually, it looks like they all go into the core. Eh, I can't tell. Yeah. So they're all going to the core. Going to rip through that really easily. Going to get that high value freeze down as they're able to get an Inferno, Expo, everything. They're going to get through that Inferno and those Teslas. Uh, unfortunately, Inferno did pop back up right at the end, so they are going to lose some health even under heal. Queen continuing to walk around. Just realized I'm on 1x. That's why this is so boring. Queen walking around from the west side up here as the Valks are continuing to clean up. A couple of... Oh, actually no wizard in the pocket, but the Valks are going to do their thing for tanking. King's going to die, but the Queen is going to be able to get through all this base anyway, so it doesn't really matter. She's going to be able to reach everything from the core, taking out that camp, wizard tower, and then coming down to the cannon to take out the rest of the base. Very nice attack here from DDBB. Another giant bomb in a completely pointless place, which is super OP. Next. So next attack coming down here is uh, Mike Hunt going in on their 23. And you'll see, so he's going to do a little go la loon type thing. He's going to drop that EQ on the Inferno Tower to kind of soften it up a little as well as the uh, Town Hall and everything. He's going to send in his Valks. Unfortunately, the, he doesn't make the funnel wide enough, so they do actually sort of go around. So those Valks are essentially worthless. Luckily, he actually misses that freeze as well, but luckily that Queen does go down. Uh, queen, enemy Queen is going to take out that uh, Inferno Tower as well. 
does have one freeze for the back end for his flight. Flight's gonna come in, Loon's coming in, has two rages and a freeze for that flight, so he's gonna go ahead and drop that rage down into the inferno, drop the freeze down and have the rage back out of the inferno. Not too much left over, just those those wizard towers and a couple point defenses. They'll take those down pretty easily as he drops one more loon for cleanup down in the south as the other loons work their way back around, just based with the town hall remaining, as the loons are gonna go in on that for a nice triple here from Mike Hunt. Yeah, very nice tag here, Mike Hunt from House of L. Mike Hunt, that is, that is two words. <laughs> uh, next, going down to Chaos. who is going to do a little Govaho as well. Man, these long talking sessions get me really thirsty. <laughs> but he's going to send in his golems right there. You'll see he's able to jump to the core. Very nice job getting that those uh, poisons down early because Valks are so fast that the, the, you, it's hard to get it down in time and it's going to still do the work anyway. As you see, they're just ripping through the core. King and Queen continuing to work around in their own little lane right here. Hogs all coming in and getting through those last defenses. They are going to die, it looks like, before getting through the last little bit, but his Queen and his King still being up is going to take out the rest of his base. Being in that outside lane, the Queen is able to reach everything, and the King is going to tank for her a little bit, as he does still have her ability, so he's probably going to pop that right here at the end and be able to get this nice triple here from Chaos. Chaos is from... Uh, where is your name? I don't see your name. Uh, okay, it's from One Hive Genesis. That's where he's from. Next, going down to EOD, who is from. He might have. Oh, EOD is from King Jeffrey, which is a fairly new war clan, but they're doing some really cool stuff, so hopefully we'll see. We'll see some of them more in the future, getting some good arranged matchups with some good clans. Queen gonna walk down here on the southwest side, encountering just one point defense at a time, which is very nice, not having to use a rage. Continuing her walk, nice and slow, doing her thing. Wall breakering in right there, and then just gonna send in his king, all the Valks in, gonna jump to the core and also that little moat right there as the Valks are going to rip their way through that core. Once everything is tanked nicely, he's going to send in the hogs. They're just going to continue working their way around the outside of the base there, taking out the defenses that they encounter as the Valks are... Oh, he actually has a jump for the Valks to get to that backside. As the Queen's going in that moat right there, taking out all the rest of the defenses, Hogs are dead, but those Valks and the King still being up, they're going to get to the rest of this base, as well as the Queen with those healers on her. As it's going, she can't reach those uh, camps on the outside, but it's still going to be a nice triple here from EOD, as the King is going to bust that wall and then get those camps down. Queen went through a wall anyway, didn't really matter, but a very nice attack here from EOD. Ending with Flashing Heroes, they're doing the disco dance, gotta love it. Very nice attack. Next attack going down to Ren. Ren is from. Uh, I don't see your name. Why am I why am I missing names here? Ren is 17. Should be like right here. Uh, I'm not sure. Might be from House of. Oh, Wiz on her face. Wow, it's on there. I'm just not seeing it. A lot of different colors on this spreadsheet that has all the clans because it has them has them color coded by clans. It's really hard to. To see sometimes. Queen gonna do her little walking thing right there as she's going to step around to the outside and continue working. Unfortunately, oh that was so lucky. Almost had the giants uh, take all the healers without switching back over to the queen. Does get a little lucky there that that happens. They get a giant bomb tripped as well which is very very much OP between two storages right there. That's a, that's a very good giant bomb. New meta. Haste going into the core, gonna freeze, gonna have a poison on the CC troops, those skellies, the queen on the back side. All the spells already down. Loon's coming in on those outside defenses as everything is tanked right here. Continuing working around the base. Got some Valk still alive, queen still alive, healer still on her, still has her ability as those loons are gonna make their way back in. King unfortunately does die, but it's gonna be okay as the queen is gonna bust through that compartment. Hopefully those healers get back on her. There they go does have to pop her ability right there as she's going to take out those last point defenses and this air defense for a nice triple here from Ren. Ren from 
whiz on her face. Next attack, coming down to 27, is Grandpa Zed, which is uh, 34. You're down low. So Grandpa Zed is... Come on. Come on, eyes. Work. Don't even see it. I don't see your name. Oh, Zed. There we go. North Watchers. He's from North Watchers. So he's going to do a little queen walk, starting up here in the north, taking advantage of these... Uh, all these buildings and defenses being within queen range does actually pop her ability early so he didn't didn't want to commit that rage to her once she's around the corner gonna send in all his Valks and mass right here to just rip to the base a nice high value freeze on look like both the infernos I couldn't tell heal goes down probably missed the Valks with that heal to be perfectly honest but didn't really matter does have two more heals which is mainly for the hogs and the Valks the Valks are kind of doing their own thing ignoring it but that's all right. Does have plenty of hogs available to get the rest of these defenses, as he's going to send in his his um, cleanup troops as well. Valks are coming back around. Does go ahead and swag that heal. Going to heal that town hall. Which uh, one thing that is not known: if you heal the town hall, it actually comes back quicker when the guy views his base back in the uh, back at his home home screen, which isn't true. So don't even listen to me. Next attack. Coming down to EOD. EOD once again from King Jeffrey. Getting that nice six pack at Town Hall 10. He's going to do a little queen walk starting here in the west and working her way down to the south. Going to have to use that rage a little bit early having those four point defenses on her. But she is going to be able to have only one point defense on her as she steps out of expo range right here. Giant's going down, making that funnel right there in the southwest as he's going to just let them beat through the wall. Actually, does not. Jump jump goes down for the Valks, the Queen, the King, everything right there. Does have hogs as well to help support everything. Once everything is tanked, just going to send his hogs in actually from the north side up there, just working their way around. Looks like they're going to continue working their way around over to the west. Well, they actually go to the east, so ignore everything I've ever said. It's okay, though. Not too many point defenses back up. They go through the haste. Hogs are really quick through a haste. And then take out these last point defenses. Does have that healer on the hog, so that's super OP. That's actually really cool. That probably saved... Well, I don't think it saved the raid. He still would have had it. But still very cool to see the healers on the hogs. Hopefully his queen gets full health back here, so he has her for healing. Unfortunately, she does not get full health, so he's going to have to wait. Let's see. She has... About an eighth of her health health to heal, so that's like, what, three and a half hours for until the queen is back healed again? Oh, we have a live attack. Uh, I'm not going to watch it. Next attack. Who did we just watch? We watched EOD going in again, right? Uh, there we go. So going down to 29 now. We have Chris from... Uh, 29, so we should be right above... From North Remembers. Oh shoot, I should know that. <laughs> Doing a little Govaho right here. Gonna jump everything here to the core. King and Queen going down as well, helping out. Get that freeze down. He has two freezes. One for the front, one for the back. That's what she said. Gonna hit that outside the base giant bomb with the hogs right there. A little unfortunate. Heal gonna go down in just a second. I would assume. I think. Maybe. Maybe he's not going to use it. <laughs> there goes the heal, keeping those hogs alive as they're going to work their way through those last point defenses. Clean up doing his thing over there on the west side. Queen and King as well, still alive as they're going to make their way from the south as everything is able to get this nice cleanup done. Very nice attack here to Chris. Pretty good timing as well on that west side cleanup. Oh, actually has that one camp. Didn't even realize that. Oh, poor little red mine. Very nice tack here. Actually swags two wall breakers and two archers, which is known as the watermelon swag, in case you were wondering. I just made that up as well, so just, if I say anything in this video, just don't believe it. I'm apparently, apparently in a mood. So here we have the queen going around, doing a little queen walk go of a hoe. Uh, from Black Tiger. Black Tiger, 35, is from Dark Looters. Queen going to continue walking. This is a Town Hall 10 version of the Taylor. Wow. If you thought it was bad at Town Hall 9, folks, just wait till you see it at Town Hall 10. Gonna send in that golem. Gonna make a nice little funnel over there. Wall breaker's going down. Gonna get into that queen compartment really easily. Gonna be able to get her down. Gonna jump to the core. Very nice, compact core. The Valks are gonna love that. 
probably should get some cleanup over there on the east side. Doesn't have it down, but that's okay. Hogs are going to come in in mass up here from the north and work their way around. Does have two heals for the hogs, as the queen is able to reach a ton of value from that core. Going to heal up the hogs and also the king, which is nice, right there on the west side. Just that cannon in the south remaining once that goes down. Does hit an outside the base giant bomb. Obviously that sweeper was placed outside the base like that in order to get the hogs to hit two giant bombs like they did. So a very interesting and uh, overpowered base design here by uh, less than plus greater than open parentheses, Mac close parentheses, less than plus greater than. Ooh, what a name. As everything's going to work its way around, take out these glass little buildings right here in the south. Another giant bomb. Probably wanted the hogs to hit that giant bomb as well. The triple giant bomb is new meta, of course. Going down here to 31, we have Marco. Marco from from Mariana Trench, with uh, War Whale's family. And he's going to come in with a little shattered Gobaho. Nice little funnel coming in. Wall breaker's going in, so that's going to enable him to jump to the core without opening that northeast compartment right there. Jump goes down. Going to rip through the queen, rip through these STIs really quickly. Queen going to get in that rage, yep, which is going to help out quite a bit. Hogs all going in, has two heals for the hogs. He's going to get some high value heals here as well. Well, he didn't. Well, I, I thought he'd be able to get his Valps in there, but they're all dead, so it didn't really matter. But he does have two heals for the hogs, doesn't really matter. A lot of cleanup up north that he's kind of neglecting right now, but that's okay. Last heal goes down for those hogs as they're able to take out these last defenses. Got his cleanup down finally up in the north, doing their thing, working around. Queen uses her ability as she's working, as her and the king are coming around from the south, getting all these defenses. Giant going to town on this CC right here. And nice little triple as the hogs are going to take out the rest of the space. Cool attack here to Marco. Next attack coming down once again. Chris from North remembers getting that Town Hall 10 six pack. Both on Town Hall 11s, I think. Are they really Town Hall 11s though? I know. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but don't believe a, a word you've heard from this this replay because this is a joke war. Thank you, Supercell. Unfortunately, did have a wall breaker fail, but it's going to be okay. It's going to send in the other ones on this Go Baho. All the Valks going in now, going to get to the core. Just enough Valks to be able to get through that core pretty easily. Only, Oh, actually two freezes, apologies. And does have that heal for the back end. He's going to be able to get Hogs and Valks in the heal, I would think, depending on how he drops it. But all the Hogs going in. No, he actually just saved just for his Hogs. But it's okay, they're going to work through these last defenses. Queen, unfortunately, is going to die. But plenty of Hogs up. Going to have a giant to tank over here on these Teslas on the outside. Unfortunately, a little bit late on that. But the hogs are going to work their way and get those last defenses down as he has that golem and king, which I have no idea. I guess they just didn't go into the base. Uh, it didn't really matter though. Plenty of cleanup down. Plenty of hogs still available to work their way through and get the rest of this base taken out for a very nice triple here from Chris. Next attack coming down to 32. We have Apex Southpaw from Reddit Omega. And he's going to do a Gobaho. I'm already tired of the Valks, guys. I've said it before, but man, it's just like 60-70% of attacks is a Gobaho. I guess the variety comes with, is there a Queen Walk or not? But I guess before meta, before the new meta, it would have been, or for the new update, rather, it would have been, um, would have been all, all Queen Walk Laloons, so I guess that's nice. Valks, unfortunately, were not able to get to this core and this Inferno, so he's going to heal up his hogs before they get to the Inferno. Very smart move there. And then, looks like well, he's not going to rage through. He's going to put the rage on the king, actually. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. He does. And then once they're through that inferno, going to heal them back up as they're able to take out these last defenses. Clean up working, away, working its way around from the west as the rest of his troops are working from the north. And they're going to meet up here for a very nice triple here from Apex Southpaw. Oh, that one little barb doing his thing. Look at him go. Next attack, coming down to Grandpa Zed. Grandpa Zed, once again, is... Where did I say he was from? He is from North Watchers, North Member family. Giants and everything going in here to make a nice little funnel for a mass... Oh, it's actually Gobaho attack, probably. Max Valk from the CC, he gemmed his hogs. They're all going to the core right now. I'm going to rip through that really easily, that single target Inferno. The CC is out. Unfortunately, some of it is behind a wall, which kind of sucks for his Valks, and they're going to lose quite a bit of health there to it as they ignore the 
the Inferno Tower, which kind of sucks. Luckily, he does have these heals for the hogs. Oh, one Valk. Wow, one Valk was able to get through that. Beautiful heal right there. He's able to get it. Actually, it could have been a half a tile to the south. He could have gotten all his hogs in there. Almost beautiful heal. But the rest of the hogs are plenty alive to get through the rest of these defenses and still be alive for cleanup. Still has queen ability. Probably going to pop that when it sees the king here. I'm oh, going to use it there. King goes down, Hogs working their way around, does have that army camp up there in the northwest, they're going to have to pass back to it, but still going to be a very nice triple here from Grandpa Zed coming in with that Town Hall 10 6 pack, gotta love it. Next attack coming down to 35 is Mighty Buzzard, which is from House of L. He doing a little Gova Ho once again. Golem going inside, Valks everything coming in like he's going to just let them beat through the wall to the core. Nowhere else for them really to go, so might as well. Queen walking around, not going to hurt him at all. Not enough point defenses on there to really be an issue. Going to send in those hogs to help save the queen, just basically using the queen for cleanup here at this point. All the hogs doing their thing over in the south, as the Valks are still alive over there in the west. Unfortunately, that Inferno Tower did not go down, but it's not going to matter, as his king and queen are going to continue to work their way around. Once they get around, he's taking a sweet time here. He's going to drop all those hogs in, just taking advantage of that king to be used for tanking. Unfortunately, drops every single hog on a giant bomb right there. That's why, guys, that's why the outside the base giant bomb is so effective. Because I, I, no, just, just no. <laughs> wow. Hog's going to do their thing, though. Plenty, of, plenty still alive for cleanup here as queen ability is popped and the rest of the base goes down. Very nice attack here to the mighty buzzard from House of L. Next attack, Garski from One Hive. Looks like he's a pretty fresh 9.5 here. He's the lowest guy in the map. Yep, he is 9.5. Gets that CC drawn right there. Gonna use his queen to take that out. Go ahead and drop that poison. Queen is gonna continue her walk. Don't know if she's going to encounter the king or not. Giants and king and wall breakers, oh my, going in in the south. Once that funnel is made, he's going to send all his Valks in. They're going to do their thing, get to the core, rip through it really quickly. Queen is going to encounter the enemy king over there, as some of the Valks and king did go to the outside. Didn't really hurt, as they're going to do actually do a ton of work right here, tanking for these wizards. And the Valks doing their thing in the core. Once that core is done, going to send in all those hogs, just sort of surgically, actually, from the north side. And they're going to do their thing, taking out the rest of the base, as the Valks and the king and the wizards, oh my, do their thing on the west side. Queen does her thing on the east side, so very nice triple here from Garski. Actually, go ahead, go ahead and swags that queen ability. OP. Next attack coming down to High in the Sky, who is from North Faction, North Remembers family, and he's going to do a little go ho most likely max Valks in the CC. Going to poison the wizards. Interesting to see. And he's taking advantage of the barbs, just going to drop one barb in the middle when he's doing that poison. So pretty cool to, that people are still able to poison the CC, even though it, it runs away from poison now. Oops, I'm on 1x. Valks, golems, everything, just jumping into the middle to take out the core really easily. Queen going to take out those little Teslas. Wizard working his way around. Good tanking over there on the west side. Uh, hogs are going down on the east as they're going to make their way through all these point defenses. Does have a heal for the hogs. Not sure if he's going to drop it on this side or wait for the back. Yeah, looks like he waits for the back because he has such good tanking. Actually, probably just saves it. Yep, goes ahead and swags that heal. They're all alive. Get a really nice split here on the hogs for cleanup. Well, they all then convert back. That's okay. Wizard, queen, everything. Cleaning up very nicely. Is going to swag that barb in his pocket, which is super overpowered. Yep, heals that town hall. It's just common courtesy, guys. If you're going to take out the town hall, go ahead and heal it back up for him. Just common courtesy. Next attack, coming in here to 38, is also Garski. Very cool to see a 9.5 getting that town hall 10 six pack. Oh, we still got into town hall 9. Oh, wow. Wow. And here I was giving you a compliment. <laughs> Queen going to do her thing, doing a little queen walk, going from the middle of the base right here, walking to the north, taking advantage of this gold storage being one more tile away than the other gold storage. She's going to continue walking around. Queen does have multiple point defenses on her, so does have to get that rage down. A little bit late on that rage caused him to have to use the queen ability early. Does get that CC lured as those hogs are coming out. Goes ahead and double poison them, making sure they don't get a single drop on the loons, on the queen, sorry. 
Queen is going to step in. I don't think he planned on that, but it's going to be okay. At, wow, she was able to take out the enemy Queen as the Valks and everything is going in. A little bit behind with that heel. I would have liked to see that a little more in front. The other heel, I mean, other jump going out the backside and heel as well. As they're able to just rip from the base. Has these hogs. Honestly doesn't need them. I'd like to see him just swag these hogs. Let's see. Let's see if he does. Yep, a Gobaho with swag hogs. I love it. That's awesome. 18 swag hogs. Very cool. Very cool, Garski. Doesn't even drop them. Doesn't need them for cleanup. Everything's still alive. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, wow. Cool stuff. Next attack, them in town. They had three Town Hall 9s. I just remember that. We have Cody Couch going in. Cody Couch, North remembers also. Brand new Town Hall 10, but has those max goal or max Max Hogs, Max Valks, Max Golems, maybe not Max Golems, Max Queen. Yeah, he's been doing some, some MasterCard farming. Gonna get that Rage down for the Valks going in. They're gonna go to the core, rip that really easily on this almost like a Town Hall 10 style base with a strong core, but there's just not enough strong defenses at Town Hall 10 for that to be of any value. Hogs just absolutely ripping through. Gonna go ahead and swag two heals, because just don't need them. Because once you're in the core like that, the hogs are completely tanked. Very nice attack here to Cody Couch. Next attack is also Cody. Going in on their 40, doing another go ho No queen walk this time. Actually didn't have a queen walk last time, now that I think about it. Wall breaker's going down, gonna poison those wizards. Not sure if you got all the lure. Uh, did get all of this, 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 town, this uh, base didn't get completely filled. Wow. Everything working their way around on the south. Hogs doing their thing down here. Most likely double giant bomb right there. Uh, only a little ghetto double giant bomb, which ends up not screwing them over. Hogs are still alive for the core right here, as the queen is going to take out the northeast side of this base and meet up with the hogs. Looks like they are going to die. Oh, they, nope, they stayed alive. But it's okay, it didn't really matter anyway, as everything is going to take out the rest of this base with another two swag heals. So swagging a total of four heals on this war to Cody Couch. Very, very fun stuff. Let's see if there were any live attacks while we were sitting here. We, uh, Ace here fell that attack. Unfortunate. Anyway, I might add the other attacks in later. If I don't, then it'll be exactly as it was. And if I do, hopefully you don't notice. Hopefully I can sneak them in there, those eight attacks. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this recap. I it was it was long. I don't even know how long it was. It was worthless. I hope you you feel like your life has not you know gone to a worse place from having watched such a terrible recap. But thank you to Supercell. Big shout out to them for their terrible matchmaking, making us match up with a whole bunch of rush town hall elevens instead of town hall. Uh, instead of what our actual match was on our mixed scrim. As you see, they have been able to scrape out seven two-stars, which is very impressive, very impressive on their part. No three-stars yet, so I, I assume those are going to come in later in the war. We'll see, though. Oh, I had the most heroic attack. That's awesome. I don't know why. Because I was 16 and took out the 14th rip. Oh, it's because I don't have the max new troops yet. Probably has something to do with it. Anyway, guys. Thank you to watch. Thank you for watching. Thank you for King's Throne for getting absolutely trampled by us. And thank you for Supercell being a bunch of dicks. Peace.